Hey folks, welcome to Bare Metal Forge today. Um, hadn't really done a whole lot today, uh, just kind of messing around out in the shop. Um, about the only thing I really did today was I had to go run some errands, picked up a few things. Um, I wound up getting a hook ruler. Well, I actually had to make it. Um, you can get these Harbor Freight, about seven bucks. Take that thing to the band saw and cut it off. And all it is is a, is a framing square. Um, just take it and cut it off and then angle it. That'll give you a, a hook ruler. That way you can uh, measure your stuff on the fly. Uh, like say if you're measuring a piece like this right here, you can hook it on there and measure it and it'll give you measurements. Um, and, and you can also use it to keep your hands away from the hot metal if you're using something within a couple of inches. Pick that up. I got the idea from uh, John Switzer. He's on uh, uh, Black Bear Forge. Uh, if y'all can, go visit the channel. Very informative. Uh, he's been doing blacksmithing for a little over 30 years, I believe. Um, the man knows what he's doing. Very good instructor. Um, just go look him up, like his page, su subscribe to him. Um, something else today I did, uh, went to Harbor Freight. Uh, some of these brushes, them hard bristle brushes, they have no handles on them. So all I did was I took some of my oak from my stock that I do with my knives, and I just run it through the bandsaw and uh, cut it and uh, made these handles for my knife, or for, not my knives, but the, uh, the hard bristle brushes. That way you can get the, get the scale off of stuff when you're forging. Um, works out really nice. Um, but other than that, that's about it. Um, got another project fixing to come up, gonna try to do. Um, uh, client dropped this ball peen hammer off and it, it is very old. Um, Try to start cleaning up with a wire brush. I don't want to get too aggressive with it, but it's what we're going to do is we're going to hammer this end out and make a um, a hatchet out of it, and then we're going to square this end up. Um, then we've got to do some some carving in it uh, later on once we get that done. But that's another project right there. Um, the only other thing I did today was uh, made a little piece, bent that, made it to put my files in. So uh, that way they're right here by the vise. I ain't got to look for them. Reach right over there and grab them. And uh, that's a good thing. So, uh, but that's about it for it. And uh, that's it. Just trying to work on getting the shop squared. And uh, it, it's coming along slow but surely. I'll wind up getting everything where I need it. Uh, so, but yeah, I got my, my grinder, my wire wheel back there. Even got me a setup. From a Dremel tool, uh, and I can take it, fold it out of the way, and I got a foot switch for it. That way I can uh, sit here on my stool, do some small grind work, stuff like that. And uh, just that's a basic it, and uh, you know, a little bit of a shop tour. Uh, got the power hammer back here in the back, and uh, that's about it for today. Just a little bit of a uh, just hanging out and doing some little odds and ends and I uh, almost forgot trying to work on uh, I did some hooks uh, some cat uh, coat and hat hooks uh, I'm gonna try to get them mounted on this board I got everything measured out where to put I just got to run this through the planer get it down a little thinner and then I'll probably take the router and put me a nice little edge on it but uh that's it for today at Bear Metal Forge, and uh, I hope y'all liked the video. And um, I know it really didn't have nothing to do with forging, but you got a chance to see what's going on in the shop, just piddling around. But if y'all liked the video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.